call to counsel does sound a bit intimidating. <laughs> Sounds intimidating to me, and I do it all the time. Here's, here's one way we can approach it. I think that word counsel is a, is, is, is a complicated one. It's a word I don't tend to use because it has such professional connotations. It seems like it, it's identifying a particular craft that, that, is, that we're not familiar with. Here, let's, let's relabel counseling as, as wise conversations. At, at its very best, that's what professional counseling is. It's, it's wise, helpful conversations. And all of a sudden, it becomes a little less intimidating. Oh, okay, I can, I, 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 I'm, that is within my reach in some way to, to grow in wise conversations. If we're still overwhelmed, there are two different versions of being overwhelmed. One is, I'm overwhelmed and I can't do it and I'm gonna run from it. The other is, I'm overwhelmed and God has called me to care for other people and feeling overwhelmed is exactly where I want to start <laughs> because, because then I will pray more. I will pray more for another person. I will pray more with another person and, and if I don't understand what a person is struggling with, I will get help from others. So, so being overwhelmed is not quite as bad as, as we think it is. Ultimately, what are we doing? This, this thing we call counseling or the care of souls or wise conversations, it's, it's we want to know someone well enough to be able to pray for them. That's, that's really what we're looking for. That's our passion. That's what we love to do. And we want to simply grow in such things.